Hey guys, I'm Paige. Welcome to the third episode of Two Girls, One League, brought to you by Not For Long Media. Today we have a very special guest, Devin Caney, Philly Sports Radio host and avid Eagles fan. But first we have a message from our sponsor. Having trouble getting a good night's sleep? Check out Psalm Sleep, the official quality night sleep provider of us at Not For Long Media and Two Girls, One League. Use promo code GIRLS for 10% off a box of the best quality sleep product on the market. The scientifically advanced Psalm stack includes ingredients that are naturally found in your body, a healthy diet, and green tea. Psalm addresses sleep issues from three different angles, providing a more comprehensive solution. It begins with targeted nutrition to support your body's own natural sleep regulating cycle. Psalm also relaxes the mind, preparing the brain to transition smoothly from wake to sleep. Use promo co- code GIRLS for 10% off. Really That's short awful. ad read there. <laughs> <laughs> Devin could definitely probably use some of that. Whoa, I was just going to say I need that. I'm so tired. Right. He's a little sleep deprived being at yeah. the Philly game last night. How was that? Um, it was incredible. So I actually have FOMO. I wish I could have been at the game. I do the post game show that I do is uh, out of Atlantic City, um, mm-hmm. out of Ocean Casino. So we were down at the sports book there, which was also incredible. But like looking at the link, I just had massive FOMO. I had a ton of friends who were there. Um, the vibes around this Eagles team are giving me flashbacks to the 2017 Super Bowl winning team. Like mm-hmm. the chemistry is there. They're so fun to watch. Like I think I had more fun watching last night's game than I have in years uh, watching the Eagles. Plus, like all the celebs were there. Like the Eagles are trendy again. Um, it was right. just an incredible game. You love to see it. No, I had def- yeah. I definitely agree. I'm also an Eagles fan, and thinking about how everyone says like Jalen Hurts can't throw just gives me like flashbacks of Jason Kelsey doing his speech at the like art museum steps where he's like, and everyone was sick and everyone was hurt and blah blah blah, blah like going off yeah. and on. And I can just see him like screaming again like this year and Jalen Hurts like can't throw like that's like the exact like thoughts I was having last night during the game. It was so fun. It is for sure. And Jalen Hurts had his best game of his professional career so far. Um, His 53 yard bomb to Quez Watkins for a touchdown was my favorite play of the game. I think like, so I watch it with the three guys who I co-host the post game show with. And like, we all were kind of stunned for like a second after that, because that's the type of play that the Jalen Hurts haters have always said he can't make. (laughs) And then he just did it on like the third drive, a third offensive drive of the game for the Eagles. And like, we were all just like, did that just happen? And there wasn't a flag. It wasn't called back. Yeah. It was an <laughs> yeah. shot, what? Um, so yeah, I, I totally agree. And Jason Kelsey was actually wearing an underdog shirt in the locker room post game. So he mm. feels those vibes too. Yeah. Literally Jalen Hurts. was making throws that he would have never attempted before this season. And now he's, he's doing it and he's had an incredible game. Uh, what would you say, like, how do you feel about Jalen Hurts now, these past two weeks, and especially last night's game as the future for the Eagles? I still think it's too early to to call um, in terms of, like, is he the franchise guy, you know, moving forward. Um, but I, I've always been a Jalen Hurts fan. Um, I think, like, skills aside, what he does on the field, like, in terms of his arm and throwing and being able to see the field, um, I love him as a leader, as a person. Like, the players clearly love him. And I feel similarly about Nick Sirianni as head coach as well. Like, they clearly have the locker room. And I think that's so important, especially following several seasons where the Eagles locker room was fractured with Carson Wentz and Doug Peterson. Like, a lot of players didn't like Carson Wentz. They had issues with whatever – he was doing or saying, or that he just wasn't a good leader where Jalen hurts is a natural leader. Um, so he's the type of person you want to root for. You want him to do well. And I feel like all throughout this off season, you know, it's been, is Jalen hurts the guy? Is he the guy? Is he actually going to improve? You know, he's out in California practicing with like Tom Brady, working with a quarterback coach. He brings in his friend, AJ Brown or Howie Roseman brings in his friend, AJ Brown for him. Um, He's given, you know, more weapons to help him succeed as a quarterback. So it really has all come down to this season. Um, And I just didn't want people to kind of jump to conclusions on if he was or wasn't the guy, like 
after week one or after week two. I think we still have a lot of season left to go. Jalen Hurts had an incredible game last night. Um, he's going to make mistakes throughout the season. So I just ask, like, Philly fans, you know, I know we're not the most uh, cool, level-headed people, but just, like, don't <laughs> yeah. like, Y'all suck. Mistakes, mm-hmm. Don't freak out. No, I was waiting after that interception. I was like, oh, God. I was like, here we go. I was like, everyone's going to freak out over that. But, no, I feel the exact same way. I think so. it's only week two, but I – I mean, obviously he's going to make mistakes, but I just know that he's going to be under like the biggest spotlight. Like he already is. And after mm-hmm. these two games, I feel like everyone's just going to be on him so much more. So, I, I mean, but well, I love him so much. He's Devin's such a story about uh, them being Super Bowl. I was like, I saw that and I was like, wait, we're claiming this after one game. I was like, <laughs> no, everyone's saying like, we gone too far here. here? Bills and Eagles, everyone's saying that. I'm like, all right. Yeah. First of all, Bills and Eagles has been my dream Super Bowl matchup for years because I work with, I uh, also cover pro lacrosse when it's in season. And um, working in pro lacrosse, like they have a Buffalo team and their Buffalo is really good. So I spend a lot of time in Buffalo and like Buffalo fans are wild. Like Mm -hmm. they're so crazy, but they're also so hungry for a championship, literally any championship. Um, And it's kind of made me fall in love with the Bills. Like that Bills Chiefs game last season still haunts my dreams. I was watching that (laughs) with my friend who also loves the Bills. And like, we, like we were watching a bar in Philly and you, cause the Eagles were out at that point. Like you would have thought that it was an Eagles game. Um, I think we're like kindred spirits, but we're also just two wild fan bases. So a Bills Eagles Super Bowl would be like, I don't know if we, I don't know if the world would be prepared. I don't, yeah. Like, yeah. No, the no. thing I posted it was, like, <laughs> it was like, this country does not have the infrastructure. To no, it would, yeah. implode. <laughs> yeah. it would implode. <laughs> it would literally no implode. But yeah, I think like, even it's, it's last night's game definitely solidified the, the buy-in from like national media. I actually felt like there was more buy-in from national media heading into the season and after week one for the Eagles than there was in Philly. Like in Philly, there was a lot of skepticism around, especially Jonathan Gannon, the defensive coordinator and the Eagles defense, because they allowed the Lions to put up 35 points um, in week one. And then we saw what the Lions did to the commanders and it's kind of like, okay, well maybe the Lions aren't as bad as we thought they were. Um, But yeah, a lot of people, especially after last night are like, oh wow, the Eagles are, are legit. Uh, especially Jalen Hurts is legit. You know, he's finally getting the respect and recognition he deserves, but that does scare me because I know in Philly, like we love being underdogs. We're used to being underdogs. So I just think like Jason Kelsey said it in, in training camp at one point, like when people have really high expectations for the Eagles, they tend to disappoint. And then mm-hmm. when people kind of count them out, that's when they excel. So now's the time when I get a little nervous. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's like yeah. let's, let's bring a bring down a bit, guys. Like I'm not ready to say Super Bowl yet. I just thought it was funny yeah. that it said it is funny. No, that yeah. was a funny tweet. Um, but yeah, definitely no, I was literally, all eyes on you. Yeah, I was literally gonna say that everyone was coming down on the Eagles for the way that the Lions game went, and then watching the Lions and Commanders game suddenly everyone's opinions have changed. Mm-hmm. I just thought that that was funny because the commanders, they thought that they were going to be great after that Jacksonville uh, win. And then Jacksonville wind up shutting out the Colts too. And I don't know. I think, I think the lines are definitely a little bit more scarier than people were putting them off as. But, I totally agree. I totally yeah. agree. Um, and heading into this to Monday night's game, like the Vikings, are supposed to be a good team. And it's so hard because it's week two. Like we really don't know which teams are the strongest contenders yeah. just yet. Um, I think things will change drastically like over the season, like the Cowboys freaking won this yeah. week. <laughs> we don't know like who's good, who's not. The Giants are. Un- hey, hey, sit <laughs> down, Devin. <laughs> Take it, Devin. Get your ass out of here. Get it. Sorry, sorry. I didn't know we had a Giants fan. <laughs> we have a Giants fan. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Um, no, but congrats. You guys are doing well. Yeah, they're, do- they're hot right now. <laughs> We're yeah. winning by field goals. You know, <laughs> you know how we do it in New York. Wait, Devin, this was a question I was wondering. Why were there two games last night? I feel like you would know that. Uh, I actually don't know that. I I <laughs> think it's just Sweet. ESPN, ABC trying to – bring in more people yeah i don't yeah, know we were wondering why there was because that was I tough know. like i wanted bills were going off and then philly was also having a night and i was like of course like the one time 
like both yeah. of these teams are just absolutely dominating and you want to see both. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, cause I know didn't ESPN like change their Monday night football broadcast crew and like all that stuff mm-hmm. heading into this season. So maybe it was just more, maybe ABC and Disney got more like broadcast rights. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I'm just glad the ESPN's um, Monday night football, like broadcasts, in previous seasons, like I don't know what to call it, like the things, like the booger cam. Do you guys remember? He's yes, yes, yes. Yeah. There, like they yes. always just had a really weird broadcast, and they still have the weird graphics that just like don't sit right yeah. with the period. Like they had a really uh, freaky. Those gra- their graphics yeah. are weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so glad to see that they're still doing that, um, but they didn't pick <laughs> up like the talent and the way they go about things, which I'm happy about. Yeah. Do you say that you have any questions like specifically or like question marks after that game? Uh, yeah. So I know that Jonathan Gannon has also been heavy under fire, especially mm. after the defense on the lines, which doesn't look as bad anymore. But, you know, his lack of blitzing, even though he did improve, I think he blitzed 10 times and he did four against the Lions. So, I mean, he's making small changes and the secondary did look amazing, but I think that's more so just talent but uh do you have any major question marks for the eagles after these past two weeks um i'm really glad to see jonathan gannon improved uh the defensive scheme like i i thought defense and of course did did really well last night um i think for off- our offensive line has been a group a position group that like i've always been confident in because i mean the eagles have like Jeff Stoutland runs a really good, they have Jason Kelsey, they have Lane Johnson, Mm -hmm. they have the newer guys like Jordan Mailata, Um, the penalties on our O-line. And I know a lot of that comes down to like, who's refing the game, like what the crew is and what Mm -hmm. they're seeing. Like crews kind of tend to like find one group, one mistake and keep like nitpicking at it, which we saw early, especially early in the game last night. But like in week one, the Eagles had 10 penalties. Uh, I think the total last night was eight. Like they're finishing, they're leading the league in like at least like top six in, in penalties and um, it's killing us. Like there were a few plays. I think it was Quez Watkins in the second half of the game had like a really good like 35 yard catch and it was called back because there's a flag. Yeah. Um, so stuff like that, like a little sl- like sloppy mistakes. Lane Johnson on our post game show last night called it uh, they're playing like sloppy Joe football out there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that I, I have a question mark around because, like, why does that keep happening? Last year, that was also uh, an issue for the especially offensive line, but, like, team as a whole. So just, like, cleaning up sloppy mistakes like that um, is what I'll be watching for and wondering, like, why it keeps happening. Like, is it coaching? Is it refs just hating the Eagles? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely a good point. I forgot about last year about how bad they were with penalties. It was horrendous, especially <laughs> early in the season. Like, they, like, led the league in penalties. Yeah. It it's, like, always just, like, shooting shooting themselves in the foot. It's always mm-hmm. doing that. Yeah. It, last year, there was, like, that uh, viral clip of Nick Sirianni saying, like, it's always him. Yeah, it's always him. I think it was Derek Barnett. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Ugh, so frustrating. That's, like, all the questions I have for Devin, if anyone else wants to ask any questions. No, I just think you Philly fans are funny because I feel like they are so tough on uh, their team. And then this and then today and like yeah, last night, like, yeah. like, Super Bowl bound. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's very flip floppy. You'll see yeah. like they'll have a horrible game and everyone's going to be like, sell the team. I mean, like, you included everyone. you were texting us like last week, like. We don't we even were us to, last night when they made one. We don't mistake. even deserve to win. And then last night she was like, "Rents do like tweeting." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was they so don't nervous. deserve to win. You're saying that? I this was, was so last nervous. week. Yeah. She's fake. So Why? Why fake. don't they deserve to win? No, I don't. It was so like something happened. <laughs> yeah, like, I no, I was like the defense was so horrible. I felt so bad. Jalen Hurts like really was the only reason that they won, and I was like. The Eagles don't even deserve this win the way that the defense is being run right now. Fair. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you know, Philly, we are very, um, you know, we're not dramatic. We like to just like, <laughs> totally cool and normal. We don't overreact. Yeah, no. Where are, are you we, from, by yeah, the way? Where are, you from? are you from Philly, born and raised? I'm from outside Philly, yeah. I went to Radnor High School, like, so, like, 30 minutes outside Philly. That's oh, PA, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what about you? Yeah, I'm from South Jersey, so okay. I'm like right over the bridge. Cool. Realistically, now, yeah. Realistically, who would you choose? No bias, Bills, 
Eagles, Super Bowl, <laughs> who's going to win? Oh, I don't know. So I put like, I thought that tweet was funny. I don't know if the Eagles are going to make the Super Bowl. Yeah. I think the Bills will. But if, the if they did, did, who do you, who do you think That's our win? Super Bowl pick was the Bills. Yeah, I have Bills in Super Bowl for sure. Mm -hmm. I think if, if it actually came down to Eagles, Bills, I think the Bills would win. <laughs> you hear that, Bill? Uh, you hear that, Eagles fans? Right there, some, some I also can't I here. Last night before the game, so I'm a very like I, I cover a lot of sports betting, especially when it comes to the NFL, and I'm really good at making picks and predictions, except when it comes to doing it for the Eagles because uh -huh. I just like I get really superstitious and like I never want to be overly confident about it, and I, right. I make picks. That's how I feel. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm not Ravens, like yeah, I, Eagles. I feel that with the Ravens, Eagles. but then like Florida, I'll go all in for them, and they'll just fucking shit the bed. So it's like, <laughs> that's how the Eagles are for me. Yeah, yeah like I'm I, like I was I so cocky for you. Like you were playing at home, and then they embarrass you. Crowd. Like mm -hmm. how much more yeah, can I, I do? Thought, like that's what I thought was gonna happen yesterday. I don't know why I was so nervous yesterday. I woke up and I was like, I don't feel too great about. This. I well, so I, Vikings are better. Vikings are better than what they played last night. Eagles, I think, just dominated from the beginning. Yeah. I yeah, think the that Vikings first are. A drive, game. I think just set the narrative and it being at home. Like once that yeah, first drive happened, too. there's no way that that crowd yeah. was going to die down after that. Oh my God. Yeah. Once you get a Philly crowd involved, yeah. Screwed, they yeah. were not leaving unless a win was delivered. Yeah. No. They were doing the skull chant, but like saying hurts instead. Like, yeah. <laughs> Jesus they were. Um, what are your thoughts, Eagles, Commanders, this Sunday? Oh, gosh. Um, just a little preview. You don't have to go to the preview. <laughs> well, so I changed my – like, this past weekend, like, Sunday, really changed a lot of my thoughts, um, especially on other NFC East teams. So, like, heading into the season, and especially after week one, I was like, don't count out the commanders. Um, mm. Because Carson Wentz, like, he's not a terrible quarterback. He's not elite, but and he's not going to play, like, 2017 Carson Wentz. But, like – He's still a decent quarterback when he wants to be. Um, so I don't at, know. I'm a little bit worried. at Washington, right? It's at Washington. Yeah. Um, I thought he looked pretty good in week one, but then I saw the Lions game, and it, that made me feel a lot more confident yeah. about next week. So I think the Eagles will win. Uh, the thing that concerns me is that they're coming off of such a high now yeah. from this big Monday night football win, and it's a short turnaround, and the commanders are coming off a loss. And you know that there's some mental play coming in into this game with, you know, Carson Wentz. Like, players say, like, oh, I don't care. That's all I care about is, like, the game and winning and my team now. Like, that's bullshit. Like, he's definitely thinking about oh, revenge. Sure. And revenge. <laughs> so I don't know if Jalen Hurts is so much, but, like, it's his old team. He didn't leave on good terms. Um, and that worries me. So I just hope that the Eagles defense can can get in Carson's head early on in that game. And I think the Eagles will win. Yeah, I think yeah. one sack, like just like it right, like in the first in their first series would just like set him off for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. He's like, he's so good for her cousins where you can get in his head really easily. Yeah. Like, feeling hurts you can't so much, but like they get frazzled really easily. Yeah. There's over like I know there's definitely over a thousand Eagles fans going to the game, traveling okay. to the Commanders game. Oh my outside. god, they're definitely traveling now. <laughs> yeah, after that I'm stay um, away from that area <laughs> over there. <laughs> um, stay inside your home. <laughs> commanders have some good wide receivers though, so that'll be some uh, good matchups. Yeah, for be interesting. Let's see how Darius Slay does. Oh, please yeah. went up against one of the best wide receivers. <laughs> Don't say, oh, we'll see how he is. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I like him. I, I do like him. Well, no. So he played incredibly last night. He put Justin Jefferson in jail, like, completely. Yeah. Oh, jail. yeah. No, he did. But um, he, what my friend was at the game, and, like, I don't know if the broadcast caught it. I didn't see it on the broadcast cameras. But she, on her Instagram story, had a video of him. She's, like, really good seats. And he was limping and like they're trying to take him out of yeah. the game. And he said no because he wanted to get I think it was right after he like almost had another pick, his like millionth yeah. pick of the night. Uh -huh. uh, and did it and he stayed in. So like I think it's a good sign that he could still keep playing, but he was yeah, limping definitely. and it's a short turnaround. So I am yeah. a little bit worried about that. He's probably not gonna practice this week. Yeah. Or very limited at least. No, I did see that though. I saw that video. He definitely was limping. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, hopefully it's a good sign that he went back out there. I want to stay back out there. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. All right. I think that's <laughs> they're going to cut this part out anyway. Cause it yeah. Was yeah, no, it's not going to be like all. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on. We hope you come back on soon. Oh wait, one more no, no. question. Yeah. What's um, tell us about your, uh, your diamond plug. <laughs> um, they are uh, Mark Schuller's new sponsor of the post game show I do. I so love I love I that. I'm always like, okay, girl. <laughs> right? No, it's the yeah. best sponsor ever. Um, so every week I do it's like a segment called Devin's Diamond Debate. And like it's like right oh. after the game and like whatever's happening. So I think last night's was like, are the Eagles a legitimate, you know, contender now mm -hmm. or something? Um, and they give me a different piece to wear during the show. And it's like I, wild. She's like iced out. Like her, you gotta follow her on Instagram. <laughs> no, iced I, out. Uh, like the first, so the that. first game, I didn't get to choose it. Um, our producer got it for me, but like this past time, like I went, I drive out there. Um, I think I went like Thursday night and they just like, I pick it out like they work with me and like ask me like what I'm going to wear, how I'm going to wear my hair, whatever. So this week it was like a choker and it was a, a two piece set. And I'm like, you guys are really trusting me to keep this safe right. <laughs> until Monday night. Like what? I almost like it's so much pressure. I'm like, I can't have right. this. I, there's never been a hoop earring that I haven't lost in my life. Oh, oh God. Yeah. I know I can't have nice things. I can't either, yeah. but it is a very nice sponsor. And, it is a good sponsor. It's yeah, cool. I just don't want to like accidentally walk away with a, a necklace. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we just plugged your segment because people are going to want to check out your jewelry next week. Yeah, yeah. there you go. You're welcome, Mark Jewelers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Devin. Good luck with the rest of your segments this year. Thank you. Yeah, nice to so finally we're... talk to another Eagles fan. God. <laughs> Shout out to Devin. She knows her shit. She matches your energy Philly wise. She is, she loves her Philly sports. That's for sure. She I don't know why you ever doubt anyone in Philly, first of all. Shut oh. up. <laughs> yeah. I think there's good reasoning behind it. I want to come to a game. No, I don't, who said that? Paige or me? No, you guys said you wanted to come. Not to Philly. Yeah, you did. But yeah, I swear. I need receipts. <laughs> no, I'm gonna find them. I swear to God. It's anyway, it was sounds like a good idea until you're actually there. Until you're actually there. Yeah. Well, you I guys would have to wear Eagles apparel. You couldn't wear yeah. Moss. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it was it was a good week for Eagles. We had a really crazy week, I would say, of football. Some crazy games. We're gonna get into it. Um, most importantly, Paige's team. How how are we feeling, Oof. Paige? How Oof. are we okay? You're We're not the, okay. the Ravens got beat. 42, 38, okay. Dolphins on top. Oof. We were – Woof. Fourth tell us, tell score. us. Fourth quarter score was – was it 34? Yeah, 31, yeah. 14. That was a great comeback from my – I left the game. I know, you <laughs> left, right? Paige left, left thinking she's all good. I was like, sweet. Um, sometimes when this happens, like uh, me and some of my friends will go back to the bars because they're right across from – uh, stadium. the stadium. And so I was like, all right, yes, yeah, totally down to dip early. Like we got this. There's no way they come back and score three touchdowns. <laughs> like that's just insane. We are walking into the bar and I hear the bouncer say, uh, it's tied up. And I was like, are you fucking me right now? You're like, like am I this drunk or yeah, did I just I hear that like, right? No <laughs> way. How do you let up? What was it three or four touchdowns? I don't even know. I think it was three. It was 20, three, three, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Like I, I didn't even see it, so I don't even know. Um, Tua literally almost threw for five hundred yards. Yeah. What was yeah. he? How many touchdowns he? I think he was four hundred and something. Six. six touchdowns. The amount of yards Tua went off. And it, I, and off. I saw his family there. Well, I didn't see them, but I saw on Twitter that oh, they were there. And that you, you, you had a drink with them. <laughs> yeah, I meant to his she, 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 she talked like shop that. with the mom. <laughs> uh, that just, like, made me more pissed off that they were there. <laughs> Screw them. Screw them. Up there, they support. Song. Yeah, I mean, gosh. like, that was, that was bad. I love uh, the Waddle. The Waddle celebration, though. Jalen Waddle is just, come on. Yeah. 
Uh, He's cute. I mean, it's it's <laughs> rough for a Baltimore Ravens fan, but I think from an outcaster just watching that game, like that's what football is about. I mean, that was one of the yeah. best games. Yeah, grow to up, watch please. to see. Yeah, grow no, up. Get, not, that's not a come fun. on. No, that's not fun as an outsider. <laughs> it was a phenomenal game. They come but, back, they're down 21. Yes, and they but at just least keep I was running. caught on the on this pod last week saying not to sleep on them. I did say that. Yeah. So we slept for a little bit and then you woke up in a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I slept and I left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I was one that thing was I was one. oh my god, I was so pumped. So I did my fantasy and Devin Duvernay went off last week at the Jets. And he's like he's a younger wide receiver. Um, we need like guys like him to step up. And so I picked him up this week in fantasy. Um, cause like, obviously I don't think like other people like know who he is unless you're like a Ravens fan. Cause it's not like he's, you're just underground. Like, you know, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so I pick him up and, um, literally as I'm walking to my seats, I started him the first play of the game. He runs it back for a touchdown. I was like, yeah. I, that had me fired up. Cause I was like, I was fired up. I was like, here they go. They're about to yeah. pop off. At that point, I was like, I am the man. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like, I know something everyone else doesn't know. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sign me a contract. Yeah. Whatever. But Lamar went off. He did. He had a good game. I know, but I feel like he wasn't running as much as like. But I mean, I think Lamar had a good know. game. I don't know how much more you can ask from out of that. No, Lamar I mean, no, I agree. Game. But like his one touchdown, I feel like we're used to seeing that a lot. I want to see more yeah. of that. Well, no, I want to see more of that now because of our our current our current run game is really, really, really bad. I thought J.K. Dobbins was going to be um, was going to play this week because uh, he's coming back from an injury, and they, I guess, I don't know, I wasn't ready. They didn't play him. Um, but our our running back game is so bad. They actually come. Uh, 10 of the carries that they had have gone for zero or negative yards. This was one of the stats I saw. That's Another so six of those carries gained just one yard. So 16 of 29 carries have gone for one yard or less. I could. I was that. texting somebody during the game, one of my guy friends, and I was like, like, Mike Davis is bad. Like, he's just bad. Our, like – run game system i in my mind it has it has always been next man up kind of thing like anybody can fit into it just next man up mm-hmm. this guy these guys can't they're just bad <laughs> they're just, they're just, just bad. take them out no but like back, i was like their first step like there's just like no burst of speed Kenyon drake's supposed to be all speed i'm not seeing it i'm like i couldn't believe we were still like calling run plays i i'm normally somebody that's like run the fucking ball no yeah keep passing keep it in the Can air we talk about joe flacco's so performance fun. at the at the jets browns game yeah, Do you know how Wait, yeah that but that ending it was way worse than ours don't you agree well the jets won oh. 31 and 30 against the yes, browns but, uh, yes but did you see the score of when when it was a minute and 30 seconds left no, I, no, I, no. I just, I think I'd be, I would be more upset in your situation to be so confident, like yeah. we're cruising, we're doing great, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you're no, like the no, game's right. put away, and then they come back and just. I thought, I thought the Ravens was put away. I was like, all right, Paige, like this is awesome, put away. Y'all beat the smelly coach, and then next thing you know, it, it's back. <laughs> guys, guys, the Browns blew a 13 point lead in the final minute and. 22 I know. seconds. Yeah, plus that the was, Jets are ass. Was, the right. Jets are ass. Yeah. Like the Dolphins at least have some talent. Like the Jets right, are so right, bad. right, right, right. The the Dolphins wide receivers are really good. And one yeah. of our our best cornerbacks got hurt. And um when he So they're just he excuses, right? Now, out right? For, no, yeah. he was out for like a stint of plays and their yardage. How did the like, Eagles win the Super Bowl with so many people hurt? I don't know. Huh? Shut yeah, up with the Eagles. Damn. She's really sold these Eagles are going. Listen, the Eagles no, are great. They are. But they are. No, I was no, referring I to the last Super Bowl that everyone was hurt and that they still won. That's was all. That, like seven years ago? Oh, 27 please. years. Don't even start. The last time. No, okay. This all right. True. The playoffs. Hey, hey. With this, we're 2 0 for the first time since 2016. Throw some respect yeah, yeah. in the Giants. That's names, the last right? time we went to the playoffs, too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's the last time <laughs> it's 2016. It's our year. It's our year, baby. I feel for the Giants. Anyway, I'd rather Ravens, be very good than the Cowboys good. here. 
Yeah, Ravens not good. Um, that was bad. Mm-hmm. The Jets game, that was a crazy comeback as well. Joe Flacco really stepped up, showed him who was boss. That, that was a gnarly game. Yeah, that was a gnarly game. Your Cardinals. Um, Cardinals. Time. Cardinals 29. Cardinals. Cardinals Raiders. Standing in the pocket for 20 seconds. We saw that. It's a little. That, that was the runs. craziest two-point conversion I've ever seen. Crazy. Crazy. I used my fantasy quarterback, and I literally oh, picked is he? him because wow. he's a freaking cheat code little video game guy, and that was exactly what I meant by that. What's what's the the tweet they always tweet out? It's like Kyler Murray looks like a baby running yeah, like away with like a phone. Like, I can't <laughs> ever unsee it. Like watch Kyler Murray play and picture him as like a toddler running away with something like important. Like he. They also put like that him. video to like clown music, and I was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're ruthless on him, but he had a hell of a game too. I mean, that was a big one for Cardinals as well. They needed I that. would definitely agree, especially last yeah. week. Oh, they were yeah, the yeah. Last week. yeah, I was a little concerned. I'm still not sold on them. Um, but I'm surprisingly kind of impressed with my Giants, guys. I don't think it's a promising future, but we're two and oh since 2016. That's that's pretty big. That's yeah. pretty big. Saqu- yeah. Saquon, Saquon looks good. Saquon, Saquon looks, looks good. good. Yes, Rossi. Saquon's Saquon does looking. look good. That's He's also my favorite running back. I can't hit on Saquon, so. Yeah. Sterling Saquon's Shepard finally coming back. Looking good, too. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I think the other issues are still where are our other wide receivers going. Um, Daniel Jones, I'm still questioning <laughs> him. He has good moments, and then it's like, is your guy. who <laughs> the hell is he? I'm Danny so Penny. Danny, Danny Penny. Is Danny Penny. He's Danny Penny. <laughs> Bro, he missed Sterling Shepard on a wide open 50 yard bomb. Yeah. Um, my dad calls him. That hurt. That hurt. It's, it's rough. Um, my it's dad rough calls him Danny Nickel. <laughs> 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 Nickel. Yeah, he's not I Danny Dimes. Everyone refer to him, so it's all right. I mean, he has moments of Danny Dimes, like the last play when he got that. His what was it? Game at six Tampa or whatever, year, or two years ago. Oh, when he fell in the middle of the field, he had that <laughs> running touchdown and completely <laughs> tripped over. It's just like that's the stuff where it's like turn off the TV, you know, like turn off the damn TV. Like I feel bad for the kid. I know. He's just, <laughs> he's just like, he's just great, like but... doofus. It's like why no. is every giant QB kind of just a doofus? Like Eli was a doofus. Yeah. Like they're great people off the field, but something about them is just like a little something's off with them. I don't know what they're doing with the QBs out in uh, Jersey over there, but they're pumping them something. Yeah. I don't know, I man. Don't but... Jersey into it. Then yeah. we got Bucks Saints. Bucks with the twenty to ten win. That was a good game. That was a, that, game there's oh, a lot to ooh. unpack there. there that was a rowdy game. Oh my God. That I like that. Actually, unreal. I love it though. I love it. Straight up, just Mike Evans. Up. Mike Evans said not today. Yeah, that's like his, that's his second time doing it. He did it back when. Um, he he has a thing for a lot of more. Is always yeah, they blindsided him. Beef. They have yeah. a weird beef. They've got weird beef. beef. I love that how he said know. like, "What do you expect me to do?" It's Tom Brady. Like, regardless. wait, I saw Mike- something that said that. Like, um, that was a wrong, like, lip read. Like, I heard, oh, was it? I saw somebody comment said something that he was like, that was out of pocket. He didn't say Tom Brady. I saw yeah. both once I rewatched the video, knowing that. I think there's, I think there's deeper beef because he's yeah. always running out well, of the anyway. when he's not he's looking just, and just fucking he's tackling defended, him. But it sounds like he's gonna appeal his suspension. Listen, um, it makes for good TV. Stop suspending them. Stop I don't know. I don't think. I don't. Th- I don't think you get to do that and then yeah, just be able to men. play. Right. Like I don't. They're know. killing like, each other. It's like a shove and like a hit, and they've held that was not a shove and a hit. That was a full blindside. He took a running start and right. went into him. I think there needs to be a suspension. I mean, I I like it. I like the aggressiveness, but I don't think you are able to just like do that and then come back and play. There's got to be right, some. No. Yeah. I mean, some bar set. But if that was my wide receiver who's now facing a suspension, like, I'd be pissed. Oh, 100%. That's just annoying. So, yeah. Bucks signed Cole Beasley, mm-hmm. free agent yeah. from Buffalo. He's yeah. good. Good vet. If you yeah. look at it stats-wise, Lattimore, like, owns Evans. Like That's what somebody yeah. – that's what everybody was saying. They were like, this really comes down to the fact that Mike it's Evans like a pride. Can't, can't beat Lattimore yeah. on a route. Yeah. 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 That's an ego pride thing. With, yeah, think. that would make me pissed off, too. I don't know if I'm taking a run out of the guy. Oh, no, yeah. I don't know if I'm like, like maybe just catch a ball here ball. and there, yeah. score a yeah. touchdown. I don't know. I, I think it would humble me, not make me 
Yeah, fight whatever over. floats your boat, Mike Evans. I mean, I hope you learn your lesson this time. We'll see how you react. Maybe next year you'll do the same shit with Lattimore, but uh, yeah. It's we got Colts, Jags, Trevor Lawrence, 24 0 shutout. <laughs> My and, God. Uh, uh, Jags are now first place in the NFC South. Which Listen, Doug Peterson knows what he's doing. Don't mess with my man. Shut up with that. Don't mess with my man. You don't get to, like, I, why am I not about to stick why with your damn Eagles? To? Stick with your Eagles. It's I'm enough. not rooting for the Jags. I'm rooting for Doug Peterson's success. It's different. Right. I'm obviously not rooting for the Jags because, what, we play them in two weeks. Yeah, and then you're going to be all Eagles and you're going to say, screw him, like all that. Type oh, of stuff. no. He's going to get a standing ovation. Don't even start. Yeah, Don't even I start. Don't you're going to be booing because there's always some asshole who's got to start. You want to know a weird stat? <laughs> the Jags have uh, shut the Colts out three times since 2017. Wow. That's, that's a lot scary. of time. That's a lot. Of, that's kind of, that's, uh, no, that's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, to be shut out by the Jags. Shut out by the, by the Jags. I don't know if that's yeah. Three I don't know times? if I'm sleeping well. That's a lot. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence actually did play really well. I'm I'm happy for the Jags. I'm happy to kind of see Trevor kind of get into a swing. Right, a bit. same because yeah. I felt bad for him last year. That was brutal with under Urban. Yeah, like uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that whole that. Urban thing that that oh. was crazy. We don't talk about that enough with Urban. <laughs> We're just gonna let that slide. What he was doing. <laughs> Wait, what did yeah. Be- uh, Brett Favre? Favre? How the fuck do you say that? Favre? Brett Favre? Favre? Yeah. Literally can never good? say that. Last time. What did he do? I'm seeing it all over Twitter. <laughs> uh, Favre, like something with stole money, money or something. From, stole money from like wasn't it like organizations that were like donating him or something like something sketchy. Could somebody look it up real quick, actually. Oh wait, I just found. Wait. Also, Brett Favre back in the day was oh, caught doing some like, inappropriate things with text messages. Except for well. I saw, I saw. Uh, a what tweet, did you say? <laughs> a okay. tweet today, and it um, it was comparing um, what Brett Favre did to um, <laughs> the Mike Vick. Yes, to Mike Vick. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> that's just. Mm, I don't it's know about that one. Damn. damn. Quiet. So those I was like, I don't same. know about that one. I think uh, like both can both, be wrong. You know, you know why that stayed up so long? Like that was so relevant. It's because it's dogs. Whenever something involves like a like a helpless animal, like just know what that that's going to take precedent. You think Wait, if so it was cats, agree? anybody would care? Are you agreeing with that tweet? No, but I'm saying that like that's like the way that some people think is that they like would rather something bad happen to other people than like an animal. Well, they just said what he was doing with the dogs was insane. This was the tweet ESPN being too quiet about Brett Favre. We saw Vic dog fighting coverage headlines for months. This is considerably worse. I just like, uh, it's it's definitely like, I would like, way better than that. I wouldn't like making innocent dogs fight each other to (laughs) death. Like, that is just so out of pocket. You cannot. But fa- you just that's, Favre you is also that. he's stealing from innocent people too. I don't. I don't know. You, but you just you don't use one to compare to the other in this case. Yeah, yeah. That's true. at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like both are bad. No, it's like when people ask you, like, how would you rather die, like drowning or be lit on fire? Like, I don't know. They're both <laughs> fucking bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I was like. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, like, yes, there definitely is a lack of coverage in this, especially because we didn't know what. Yeah, like, I had no clue. We I didn't know what, that. like, the actual thing was. Like, we knew a little bit, but clearly there's lack of coverage if we didn't know all of it. I'll agree with that. But, I mean, to com- to try to use, like, th- to try yeah. to use this to downplay what yeah, it's like it's like a downplaying thing. They're both yeah. lost their morals, both horrible things. I don't yeah, know if yeah. we need to compare them. You don't. Um, yeah, yeah like we don't. After but... that, what would you rather do? <laughs> like... Yeah, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. happy happy the Jags are winning. Basically, what we're trying to say, we're happy that Trevor <laughs> is finally yeah. finding um, his hopefully, spot. <laughs> hopefully, Colts, are you? Uh, if you're the Colts, Colts are you coach isn't going to be in the hot seat? The Colts? You, are you panicking? Yeah, if you're the Colts. Uh, were they I even mean, really like like expecting? Yeah, that? That's I mean they thing. gave that JT like, nine carries, like nine. Colts have a good defense. Yeah, I I'm just surprised. I didn't 
I didn't hear any hype really around the Colts. I don't know. I just never, I kind of forgot about the Colts, to be honest. Like, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Kind of kind of just forgot. I just forgot about them. I just, Jonathan I mean, to be shut Taylor out by whoops ass in fantasy every heaven week. I'm so annoyed. I want him on my team. Yeah, that's true. I would be good. Anyway, Packers, Bears. No, don't even start. I fucking hate that game. Why? Why? Why was that the so prime time today? Because it's like the same shit every year. I'm tired of it. For the record, Packers, Packers 27, win. Bears 10. Aaron Rodgers owns the Bears. Next. Why is that the prime? Yeah. Why is that the prime time? That's yeah, exactly what I'm talking packs. about. It always is. Yeah. Yeah, it always is. Therefore, I, mean, I don't want to. I talk guess about it's it. like historic, whatever. But like, how is I it know. historic? I don't know. Oh, uh, sure there's like it. a whole Twitter frenzy over that right now. Can we talk about Geno Smith? I love Geno. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Let's just. Forty Niners beat the Seahawks twenty-seven to seven. Yeah, I know. So, I, I mean. Just, Gino just had a ball out. It's like um Yeah, but let's talk let's talk about Trey Lance injury and now Jimmy G's back in it. Yeah. Yeah, but how time. can you how can you say last week that legendary quote they wrote me off but I didn't write back and then fucking lose 27 to 7. Because you I know mean, it's, it's Gino Smith realistically. Yeah. We will we were all excited about him but realistically when you put his career over a timeline and you look at it it's fucking Gino Smith guys. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Last week like people were really like fighting against that like oh no. Patrick quarterback that I'm thinking of. Hmm? Is it Patrick? Patrick? Yeah, whatever. Remember him? Like, he would have, like, one crazy game, and everyone would be like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's, it's the quit. hype. Everybody wants those QBs to, like, be the next freaking Tom Brady's, but realistically, it's just not how it happens. I would love to see Gino go on a winning streak, but it's not going to happen. Well, it's too late now. It's already ended. Well, I mean, it's only week two, but Wait. I'm more excited. I'm excited about Jimmy G being back. Yeah. Jimmy G is back. He's good to look at. It's all that matters. He's back. <laughs> yeah. Bring that- the ratings again. Yeah, that injury was gnarly to Trey Lance. Oh. Um, poor oh. kid. Hope speedy recovery. It's it's shitty to see altogether. Did you see that video of him uh, throwing cash? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's happy. He's been at the strip clubs going crazy, Trey Lance. Oh so God. I mean, he's probably chilling right now. Um, yeah, but I wasn't really. I really wasn't on the. I wasn't on like the fan boat with them. I don't know. I wasn't. I know some people are hyping him up, saying he's going to be the next big thing, but. I don't really know how I felt about him. I wasn't no, no. wasn't that big of a fan with him. Can we talk um, about did you guys see that video of Russ uh on the sideline on the Broncos sideline and he's like, D, scream if it's a run or a pass. You have to let them know or blah 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 or like whatever. Like, did you guys see that video? It's so embarrassing. He's like yelling no. and like calling out players to be like, Oh, well, like no. it's a run from the sideline, scream run, or like if it's a pass, scream pass. Like what they do but, in like college, like Oh no, I haven't Not seen in, that. Like, the NFL. There's a lot of trouble though out over there though. They just head coach. High. They look pissed as hell at him in the video. The Broncos, like- sixteen, Texans nine. One thing I can't fucking stand is um I just saw this this morning is uh uh Russell Wilson started doing uh you know what Tom Brady does after every time they win those videos. Yeah, like yeah. Like Tom Brady always does like a recap of the video and like it's himself talking. And then it's like it'll we it's like a highlight yeah. reel. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Russell Wilson just started doing that. No, Russell. like you can't do that. Like that's <laughs> he's what? so annoying. That's like you know that Brady's Tom Brady's thing. Like, everybody knows that knows that yeah. that's Tom Brady's thing. It's just yeah. very Russell Wilson of Russell Wilson to do that. Yes, yeah, he's such a pick me. Russell Wilson's such a pick me. Such a pick me. Such a pick, man. man when he says, clown. "Let's ride," oh, <laughs> my, my whole ick. entire Twitter feed is just like cringe videos of Russell Wilson. Yeah, it's like clowning yeah. Russell like, Wilson all the time. Him, him, and Sierra. We've talked about this briefly, but I don't. I they're rough. I don't they're like weird. Them. Yeah, they're weird couple. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not supporting them. I don't know. They're they give me the creeps for some reason. But like looking at them reminds me of Tom Brady and his wife. Are they getting a divorce? What is that? Oh, what's something's happening. Is, I have no idea what's going on there. Something is happening. Something is happening. I mean, did That's you see the? Do you see the new thing? Brady now has off every Wednesday. Yeah. You also, oh, yeah, Bruce is getting scary skinny. Like he's looking scary. Yeah. He yeah. looks unwell. 
Oh, I, yeah. like living I don't watch the whole things though. So I'm like, are people just taking really bad screen grabs of this and like editing it? Or is <laughs> that's it like pretty thin. I mean, the fact though that now he's getting Wednesdays or man uh, mandatory. Okay, but he, days I mean, he was off. Old. He's old. Yes, but that's still that's weird. Off. That doesn't mean he's not in the building at all. I don't know. Giselle might be keeping his ass at home. I mean, that means he's off maybe like he's not practicing. Like that could mean he's still there for film and all that stuff. That doesn't mean he's like He's also Tom Brady. What, at home on the car. Well, no, yeah. Right? I mean, if I would do whatever Tom Brady wants to keep him happy and keep him around longer. I just yeah. think it's a little it's just it's strange with everything happening with Brady. He's something's happening at, at his home for sure. Yeah. But and it's not, it might be his son who who's a little pissed off, like whatever. I know. I wonder how his kids are doing. Kissing his kids too much. Kissing his not kids, enough. yeah. <laughs> on, the lips. on the lips. That's weird. <laughs> the son's like 15 years old. He's like, give dad a kiss. And then the gives him a little smudge. He's like, a better one than that. And it's like, that's, we really uh... passed over that. <laughs> we walked over that as a society. Yeah. I don't know how we feel about that one, but it's Tom Brady, so it's fine, you know. Yeah, no, it's fine. As long it's as fine. he wins games, wins Super Bowls. Yeah, wins Super Bowls. He he's cool. He's good to go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Bills Titans our Monday Night Football game. Other Monday Night Football game. Bills yeah. absolutely whooped the Titans. Yeah. No, um, I'm pissed. I mean, I just Whoop felt down. bad for the Titans. The Bills are they just dominated so in every good. aspect. It looks Josh Allen looks offensively, so good. defensively. The defensive turnovers are were insane. Yeah. Um, I they better sign Poyer to a new contract because even though I think it's picks, like yes, he's just in the right place at the right time. He, I feel like he leads that defense. I yeah. can't believe the over hit by 0. 0.5. Like, you know how much that makes me hate my life? I would have won $80. <laughs> I knew that too. 0. 0.5. That's literally unreal. Guys, I had so many bad beats yesterday. Oh my I, God. Want, I want to be like a Bills fan. Me too. I mean, I really support them fun. whenever they play. I hope I Same. I love I love it. I'm like, I can't help but like want to be a Bills fan. I, but, yeah, they don't really give you a reason to hate them. I don't know. No, I, just, I know. I, I really like them. them. I, I like the Bills. If I wasn't a Ravens fan, I'd definitely be a Bills fan. I like the Bills. Um, um, they're just looking so freaking good. It's oh it's kind of scary. Stephon Diggs. Yeah. I would do anything to have Stephon Diggs on the Ravens. Oh my god! Are gonna say something else? Yeah, I thought you were going somewhere else <laughs> with that. <laughs> what did you th- <laughs> I was gonna say. I don't know. Oh, I thought you. Oh, um, I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, Rossi. He- do you want yeah. to talk about your uh, your prop bets last night? We should have talked about them when Devin was here, actually. Oh, but... um, yeah. So I put in a bunch of stuff last night. Um, I had Diggs to two touchdowns, Hurts two touchdowns, plus six thousand odds, bro. <laughs> Threw five bucks on it to win three hundred, and that was like the only thing that hit. The other stuff, like it was like so close. Like I think I had um. I had like a really easy bet. I had AJ Brown over 60 yards, Goddard over 25, Dalvin Cook over 60. Dalvin Cook like got shut down by our defensive line. Like I think yeah. at one point they had a stat that was like he's averaged like I think a hundred some yards throughout his whole career and he only had like twenty last night. Um I had Jalen Hurts over forty rushing yards and the spread of the game, but I don't know, everything nothing really hit, guys. <laughs> Sad. Yeah. Wait, your di- your digs and Jalen Hurts one didn't. Oh wait, no, it, it did, it did. But like I that one did hit. Five, oh, yeah. I only put five bucks on it. Like if I would have threw more on it, like you would have. Yeah, you should have thrown more on that. And damn. if Derrick Henry, if Derrick Henry would have had, I had Derrick Henry two touchdowns and Diggs two touchdowns. And if Henry would have had one more touchdown, I would have won like five hundred. But yeah, see, I took yeah. Bills. I that took game the script, spread. the game script just threw it off. Yeah, no. Yeah. I took Bill's spread, and then I took the under. Derrick Henry, anytime touchdown score. And then I took the over 25.5 for Bill's total points. And I lost because I would have won $80, but – because I put Damn. I threw $5 on it, but the over decided. Hey. Oh, so what were the odds? Oh, God. Let's take a look. The odds were probably pretty high. Uh, I don't. Well, like, what is it? Plus fifteen hundred. Does that make sense? We can't. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? In Maryland. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. 
I'm just gonna get Rossi. I'm gonna give you like a hundred dollars each week and be like, just put it out. Dude. I have I, like I have the worst luck. I just I don't mess with that type of stuff. I Dude, do. that shit is made for me. Like I don't. I know guys, you're good I at will it. Gladly give you everything. Like she's starting a retirement fund with all this. Yeah, I know. Nice. With her uh her baseball ones hit like it's crazy. crazy. It's crazy, um, dude. Rossi. No, I anyway. need to do some baseball ones because I know people who win thousands off those every week. Unreal. Yeah, yeah. I made yeah, like well, an you're, eighteen. You're leg. looking at one of them. Yeah, know, she's right there. Her. I made an eighteen leg money line parlay last year, and it was like Damn. plus nine thousand odds. And I think it was one home run away from hitting. Eighteen legs. Holy it was eighteen legs. Shit. You not? What are you gonna, Rossi? What are you gonna do this week for Commanders game? Oh God, I don't know. Honestly, you, I'll probably down do. Some? I'll probably do. I feel like McLaren. McLaren is due. Like he'll probably get a get a tutty, at some point. Um, Jalen Hurts rushing touchdowns always guaranteed. Yeah, <laughs> Throw, I'm taking a loan out on that. <laughs> <laughs> Buying a small my, house. What am my tuition? One. My tuition money on that. Show. Yeah, literally. Rossi, what? Uh, who? Who's your team again? Remind me. I like the Eagles. Yo, you big, oh, Jesus. God, big, we need some Burns diversity fan. in here. Look at that jersey hanging up in the back. I mean, I was just making sure it's a green. It could be anything. I'm, I said it's not the best. I was yeah, hoping it wasn't yeah. the Eagles, but all right. Yeah, we got I two Eagles. We're a Giants fan, too, so whatever. All right, Silvana. Anyway. Right. Um, Let's do CFB. Yeah, CFB. Tag out. Silvana's going to tag out with this one. Uh, all right. I mean – I'm not happy with the Gators. We beat mm. what USF? Like it's just it's so bad. I thought they I, were gonna I, put up fifty. Like yeah, the fact that it was I close was gonna be too good to be true. But I don't know. Um, I'm not really excited for this upcoming week. I'm just kind of losing all my excitement no. with Gators right now. If I was a betting person, I think I'm putting my money on Tennessee. Like I, yeah. I mean, if we just. Well, we couldn't even win one of our home games, and we barely could be just one USF USF at home. What I have no reason to believe we're going to go to Tennessee and win on the road. <laughs> yeah, the road game type. Really, you yeah, really think Tennessee? That's a hard place to play away, and yeah. uh, they have a good SEC wide type court. thing. Yeah, I just it sounds I don't like know. Uh, I was kind of what listening to Billy Napier's like press conference and stuff, and like you know how Anthony Richardson hasn't really been playing like he did in the Utah game. Yeah, I guess it sounds like they're hesitant because they don't, like, have depth at quarterback. Yes, yes. He mentioned that. Jack Miller, I think he – I know he, like, had to get surgery on his thumb or something, uh, like, end of camp, and I don't know who the other one is. So Yeah, we have I'm no depth. That that's why they're – I'm pretty sure Richardson yeah, even – tweeted or he mentioned something that he's even nervous of doing certain plays because he keeps yeah, but getting that's re- bad. like why would you but he, coach but he, that way? i know but he keeps getting reminded from coaching staff that there's no depth so like, now i thought but- i thought the whole uh spiel was like scared money don't make money, money and yeah like, and now we're <laughs> like petrified yeah. shaking in our boots like yeah <laughs> so like, between our legs type shit right. it's it's hard to watch them. And Watching then, um, Gators week one to where we were, where we are at right now is it's mind blowing to me. Right. Um, and then our starting linebacker, Ventrell Miller, who's like, he's like yeah. the leader of the defense. He was out this mm-hmm. week. Hopefully he's back for Tennessee. Um, yeah, we, uh, that'd wolf. be interesting. Wolf, 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 wolf. Wolf is all we have to say about that. All right. That. And also, I think we are going to now become the official podcast of App State. Yeah, App State is something else. App State. Did you see that Hail Mary to win? Yes. (laughs) Unreal. That was real. Back into the receiver's hands. Holy shit. Shout out to uh, Chanel Hargrave. She was at the game and she was sending some Snapchats and she said the crowd would suck. One of our our friends from Florida is a volleyball assistant there. Yeah. She she said that was an insane game. So App State – Oh my Since god, Gators! Dude, our game day there was insane. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so that was that was interesting. But we got some good games coming up this week. I mean, like I feel like that they should have beat Troy by like more. <laughs> but whatever, when you win, you win. A win's a win. Doesn't yeah. matter. 
But yep, 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 yep. Georgia's still looking solid. I mean, they play freaking Kent State, so that's going to be a real nail biter. Um, <laughs> that's a joke, oh my guys. god! Yeah. <laughs> so, I thought we're going to give. I thought yeah, that them Georgia versus uh, USC. I was like, USC is good this year. Guys, like the guys doing the broadcast were like really hyping up that this was going to be like a close game. There's a lot of hype behind, behind USC. Oh my There's God, a lot of hype. that's Spencer Rattler. Silvano's going to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Same guys, the college from um, top is like, I'm like, yeah. But that game was a fucking snooze fest. Uh, Purdue Syracuse was good. Mm -hmm. I watched that. What other ones did I watch? I wasn't, I mean, Texas AM, Miami. Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. That was an all right one. Utah still. Cream San Diego. Um, was no really crazy games, I would say, in college yeah. football, besides like App State and all that. But <laughs> App State, the most electric team in college football. Right <laughs> That's when you know it's bad. Um, <laughs> That's when you know I want to tune out of Florida. Oh, yeah. Legit. So we'll see the, what this upcoming week is. Um, I'm still betting on my Gators, but a little bit nervous, but we'll see. Honestly, I we'll would see. I would blow the money to bet against them just for it to be janked and they win. Yeah. Uh, we do have one good game. I mean, you got a Wisconsin and Ohio State coming up. That big rivalry, uh, oh, yeah, rivalry is coming up Saturday. Game. Yeah, 7.30 p.m. So that's going to be All a good right. one. But What's this move game about for us, Alex? Moving All on. right, we're gonna we're gonna play some Would You Rather, but football edition. All right, uh, y'all, um, y'all in for that? Yeah. Um, I'm so, I'm a little scared. I'm not. Nah, you should you should be scared. It's gonna be a disclaimer <laughs> be before you get into it. It's nothing personal, guys. Society, don't take it so hard. We're just joking around here. Have a little bit of sense of humor. Yeah, nothing um, so great with that disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. So we're we're going to start it light. With, uh, would you rather party with Rob Gronkowski or Plaxico Burris? Rob, uh, Gronkowski, a bunch of Rob. Rob. Rob, does anybody Rob. get the does anybody get the Plaxico Burris joke? Nope, no, you guys are all too young, okay? Because <laughs> because because Plaxico Burris shot himself in the leg. In the nightclub. <laughs> Oh, nobody, awesome. nobody, y'all. No. That. All right, that was a Giants player. He was like Super Bowl champion, career is going great, and then goes to nightclub and shot himself in the leg and ruined his whole entire career. No, no, I so know, like that. Jason Pierre Paul part two, yeah, except with the yeah, gun. That, yeah. Okay, so y'all yeah. didn't get that one. We'll okay, move to so the next one. We're gonna have to X that one from the podcast. <laughs> Though I think, I think older people would appreciate that one, they, they would chuckle at that one. All right. Would you rather be trapped in a room with Jackson Mahomes or Brittany Matthews Mahomes? <laughs> Brittany. I'm saying Brittany. Jackson. Jackson. I'm going, I'm going Jackson. Brittany. I'm going Jackson. I think I'm doing Brittany. You're doing Brittany? Yeah. I think, I, think so. I think we're going Jackson. I think Jackson would bring a good level of entertainment. Yeah, Jackson. Like before, he, before he pisses you off. No, yeah, if you get if you get bored, you're like, you're like, shake something. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Bust them. Uh, all Keep right. going. Um, we'll do one more mediocre. Like it's it's an easy one. It's not inappropriate. Would you rather uh, leg wrestle uh, Saquon Barkley or arm wrestle DK Metcalf? <laughs> oh, oh, arm wrestle. Oh, arm wrestle. Saquon's yeah, toys are huge. Yeah, Me Metcalf's arm a freaking animal too. Yeah, but what yeah, do you mean by leg? Leg wrestle. <laughs> <wrestling. laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like, you that? never <laughs> elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> that's getting cut too jesus christ <laughs> he has a leg bro uh, <laughs> what is like what does that mean <laughs> i can see you never see the tiktok videos when you lay on your back and you're like yeah yeah each yeah other, I don't and exactly you what you mean. no you all okay i do don't worry like oh, i was no. like you know like you were going like leg wrestle like Mandy in the circle. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, we're cutting this out. This is no, this, this that was actually good. Don't cut that. Uh, all right, I got real ones. All right, this is a good one. Would you rather clean the laundry of an NFL team or clean the bathrooms? But you're not allowed. To, you're not allowed. Oh. To wear gloves. <laughs> no gloves allowed for either one. <laughs> uh, oh. I'm thinking laundry. Ew, laundry? I, I don't know bathroom. 
I'm thinking bathroom. Really? Wow. I think I really get grossed out by bathrooms. <laughs> Sweaty ball juice. Oh, this is not <laughs> shit. <laughs> no chance I'm touching their laundry. <laughs> oh my God. No way. Um, are you guys, this one you might not even understand either. Like you might not even know this player. Would you rather coach Antonio Brown or coach uh, Terrell Owens? Tio. Yeah, Did you know that? that? Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, Tio for Owen. sure. You think Tio yeah. was bad back in his heyday, man? No, oh, and Tio so Brown's like, wait, like, yeah, he's like not even on Earth. <laughs> like, I love yeah. Antonio. <laughs> Bring Antonio back. I want him to sign with the <laughs> Giants. Are we gonna like, do make a song together? He's like, like, he doesn't even uh, live on like our planet wait, anymore. Wait, yeah. do you guys remember the video of him like consistently farting at his doctor? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like no, chiropractor. Yeah, like, no, <laughs> I love, I love um, Antonio. <laughs> Okay, would you rather tackle Derrick Henry or uh, Fournette? Or who? Fournette. Oh, um, thank Fournette. you. I, uh, fun story. I oh, saw Fournette one time in person, sure. and that guy's head is so big. <laughs> his, actual, his actual head um, is huge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This one, it's like, I couldn't really find a second person, but like, I just don't like either of them outside of football. Would you rather date Aaron uh, Rodgers or Cam Newton? Aaron Rodgers. Cam. <laughs> oh my God. Cam. Uh, I, I hate Cam. Aaron Rodgers is a little Cam. weird. I would say weird. Cam is You're like. I think Aaron Cam. Rogers, I Aaron Rodgers just... looks like Alan DeGeneres. I'm sorry. Like, I can't. <laughs> He's I don't know that. Wait, but I don't, I don't see that. Aaron makes more money. I'd go. Okay, well, yeah, Solano is obviously. Facts. I That's was thinking valid. more. I was thinking personality wise, not money. Cam um, has just always rubbed me the wrong way ever yes. since he like went at that one female reporter. Yeah, reporter. I hate yeah. Cam. Imagine facts. Cam heard this podcast. Girls talking about football. Oh, he would have a field day. He would have a field day. All right, last one. We're going to say I. I know the answer is pretty. Uh, Pretty obvious, but would you rather wear an opposing team jersey to an Eagles game or a Pittsburgh Steelers? Pittsburgh Steelers. Game. Yep. Steelers. Yeah. I'm going Steelers. So apparently, I saw this online. I don't know if this is true. We should. I should ask Devin and so Savannah. Maybe you have an idea. But apparently, Philly has a game day prison for drunken, violent fans. My dad stadium. been there. Okay, there we, that's great. And there we have our answer. And <laughs> that's the answer. Story. Yeah, yes. go, ahead. So, go ahead. Oh, it's right. real. Wow. All right. Well, this is okay. I know it still exists now, but this was at the vet, which mm -hmm. is the old stadium. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my dad went with like a couple of his cops friends, and it's like kind of like not really like a range seating, like you could kind of sit wherever, and like security so lax back then because like this is like the 90s, like the 80s, 90s. Um, you and, just do whatever you want during no, that era. That has, he actually, um, <laughs> in the middle of the game, he jumped over and was on the field and was like, Your Dad handing, was, yeah, he jumped over and was like handing waters out, like to the players, like trying to be like inconspicuous, like not suspicious. Good for him. He was and him. then he got arrested because he had a whole like his pants were like burnt because earlier in the night, his friends let his pants on fire. So it was like very clear that like he wasn't supposed to be there. This is so Philly. This is such no, a Philly. Story. And my dad, the security guard was like, honestly, I wouldn't have even noticed if it didn't look like your pants had been like lit on fire beforehand. But yeah, Wait, my is mom, it like real jail or like fake jail? It's. I mean, like he was like zip tied up and like in a little cell. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like just stadium jail. Yeah, it's well, like stadium yeah. jail. And, like, my mom had, like, my sister, who was probably, like, one years old, and she had to, like, go pick up my dad from, like, being oh, I would have killed my husband if he was intoxicated and, like, in a zip-tie jail. Yeah, so, uh, but, uh, GQ. a lot better when I, when, than I do, but that's the well, That's good. It. GQ Magazine recently voted, uh, actually, Philly sports fans as the worst fan base in the United States. Um, so, if you feel good <laughs> about that. And they gave a reasoning. They also stated in the article that the Philly fans once booed Santa Claus. All right, so I fuck off. You know how fucking long ago? First of all, it wasn't booing. It was throwing snowballs. Second of all, let's talk about the <laughs> ground real fucking quick. 
<laughs> what about the any better. pictures of their fan base and all their little tailgates and that oh massages ha- ending in yeah. half aren't illegal or whatever. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck wow. that. All we do is fucking what? Sorry, we're passionate. That's it. These people are fucking defending like a rapist. God forbid. I hate GQ. <laughs> Fuck that magazine. I'm filing a complaint. No one ever fucking support that magazine for Philly ever again. I mean, y'all boot Santa, but all right, that's Ooh, all I got no. for would. That that's we'll all I got rather. for would you rather. Sorry that for that enough. that craziness. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I got good. some more still there. still brewing in my head. So uh, if you guys want to hear <laughs> those about are that great. After Leonard Fournette, those are great. That was just a level. That was just a level one on the scale of Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should have seen the one she was texting. Yeah. That oh, was very. That was one. nothing. My mom and dad are gonna be mortified, and my grandma. I'm sorry, grandma. I love you. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, we got Eagles at Commanders, Ravens at uh, at, uh, at Patriots, and who are the Giants? What did... Oh, Cowboys yeah. at Giants. Yeah, that's Monday night, so that will be interesting. Yeah. Oh, I might even wear a Giants. I might wear something blue for the Giants for that. Ooh, actually. wow. Yeah, we'll see how the Ravens that. do. Historically, they aren't too good at winning at Foxborough, so that'll be. Wait, Alex, let me say that you're, you fucking Giants fans are getting cocky, because let me tell you. Oh, I'm not cocky. No, because cocky. let me tell you, people around campus are being spotted wearing their giant shit, their jerseys. Okay. That's already Easy over there. there. Easy Philly. Easy Philly. Easy Philly. Pipe down. I know. All right. Thanks for tuning right. in. We'll catch you next week. All right, y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>